All right, I've been working on the billets. Oh. This is the end that's going to have the buckle on it. I've cut them down, cut them to length, and they're ready to get finished. I've dyed them. And let me show you this. The buck, in fact, let me show you, put the buckle on it. Go. The buckle is going to go there. Actually, it's going to be like that. And I'm going to put one Chicago screw here and one in this hole. This keeper is for where the other end of this strap goes through. And it'll go over top of it like that. And of course, this keeper is for the other side of the belt. Let me take this all apart. As you can see, I've got the dye on it. And I dyed it the way I like dyeing stuff. Lots and lots of dye. Just saturate it. So the first thing I'm going to do is buff off the excess. No, not much. Not much is coming off. And then I'm going to go ahead and burnish these edges. Let me go wet my burnishing sponge and I'll be right back. Now to burnish these, just take a wet sponge, wipe it along the edge. Let's see if I can show you better this way. And just wet the edge. Just a, just a bit of water, and then you take your burnishing tool, and well, burnish it. And in fact, you can see how that edge is coming along already. I'll tell you what, I'm moving my light over. And I'll just continue that along all the edges until they look the way I want them to look. Until they get all nice and pretty and burnished. Turn this around and start from this end. And there you go. Now I'm just going to continue that with all the edges. And when we come back, we'll put some gum tragacanth on them and burnish some more. Okay, we got the water burnish done. Eh, it didn't take long. It doesn't take too long at all. And we're going to go ahead and put our gum tragacanth on it and do another burnish with the gum trag. in other videos that some people just use gum drag to do all the burnishing and as long as you get a good result that's groovy but then I have those same people ask me how I get my edges the way I do it um, water burnishing leaves a nice shiny edge on it but the problem is it's not going to stay that way gum drag is well it's a gum and what that'll do basically it'll glue the fibers down so they stay that way don't need a lot
and I try to be careful to only get it on the edge. If you go over a little bit, it's no biggie. Always keep a paper towel handy, like right there. I went over a little bit, wipe it off. Um, as far as how much time to take between the water burnish and the gum track, I've tried it, letting the, uh, the water burnish dry completely and then gum tracking it. And I've tried gum tracking right after water burnishing, doesn't seem to make a difference. So anyway, put the gum track on there, soaks in a little bit. No real hurry, take your time. And just burnish it again with the gum track. And I've always felt that the mark of a quality product is in the details. There you go. There's a quick gum track burnish. And if you pay attention to every detail along the way, like properly doing the edges and dyeing it and giving it enough time to dry. There's some people that um, they'll do the edges while the dye is wet and they get good results that way. There's different ways to get the same results. And basically, I just try different techniques till I find one that works for me. And this one seems to work best for me. I'm really happy with the results I get doing it this way. Mm -hmm. And there you go. There's a quick gum drag burnish on that. Now again, it won't stay that way. After this belt's done, if I just leave it with the gum track on the edges, in short order, that'll become fuzzy. What that does is it keeps the edges nice until I can put a final top coat on it. And once it's top coated, in fact, on the belt itself here, that's what I did. I did the gum track, I did a water burnish, I did a gum track burnish, and then I top coated it and now those edges are going to stay that way well it'll get some wear and tear on them with use but yeah they'll stay pretty nice well I'm going to continue with the gum dragon and I'll be right back all right I've given that I don't know maybe an hour or so for the uh, gum track to dry and I'm gonna go ahead and top coat this now oh. what I usually use tan coat <laughs> give that a good shaking up shake it baby shake it get myself a paper towel already let's see if I can use this one again oh yeah that'll work And I'm going to start with this one. Now what I've done is back here, this is a, uh, an old glass cutting board. So once I get them top coated, I'm going to set them on the cutting board because if I set it on paper like this, it could stick and peel up bits of paper and you get bits of paper stuck to it and it looks terrible. So after I top coat them, I put them on the glass and I leave them there to dry. Anyway, let's get started. It's pretty basic. Same thing, I'll use a dauber. And just spread it on. You can start with the top or the bottom, whatever. Doesn't really matter.
and after I spread it on I'll just take my paper towel and wipe off the excess I'm going to go along the edges now leather does have a grain so while you're doing the edges you can feel it catching and if it's catching just go the other way and then same thing I'll just come back with my paper towel and wipe off the excess. Do that to the other side. No, I felt the kitchen, so I'm going to go back the other way. and then wipe off the excess. And set it on the glass. I'm going to take this piece, this piece do the same thing, and then I'm going to spread it on the back side. So once this has a little bit of time to dry, I'm just going to spread it on the back side. Don't have to worry about wiping it off because basically it'll soak right in stuff dries pretty fast and um, I'll come back and we'll buff it out a little bit okay I've got both sides coated this side and that side same thing over here gave you just a few minutes and I'm gonna, hit, gonna go ahead and take my paper towel and give it a quick buffing and that'll bring that finish out and add a little bit of shine to it. And make it really purty. Same thing to the edges. Get those edges nice, <coughs> nice and shiny and pretty. I can also use my uh, burnisher and re-burnish those edges. And that'll really bring out the shine in them. Okay. Do the same thing with this one, and after I get it buffed and burnished, just leave it sit on this piece of glass for a day. Actually, probably two. It's been very humid out here, and things are taking a bit longer to dry. Gets me kind of antsy sometimes. It's like I want to work on it, but I gotta let it sit and dry. Dry completely. Don't want to risk damaging it or marking it up. That's for the end user. It's not. <laughs> it's not up to me to mark it up. It's for the person that uh, receives it to mark it up. Anyway. Next time when we come back, we'll see about starting to assemble this thing. Getting this belt done and moving on to the next part. Not sure if it's going to be the holster or the knife sheath. Probably the knife sheath because um, I've already got the pattern for it and it's already been approved. I've started the pattern on the holster, but I haven't submitted it for approval yet. So I'll go ahead and start on that knife sheath. We'll see you next time.